Hi, this is Regine and welcome to my YouTube channel, Weaver of Tales podcast videos. So today we'll talk about the uh, topic that I have published in my podcast last week, actually no Friday lang, entitled How I Struggled with Writer's Block and How I, how I Made Myself Write Again. Nabubulol pa ako, no? Okay, so ano nga ba yung writer's block? Sige, start tayo with the definition. According to Wikipedia, ito may copy ako. Ano? So ac- according to Wikipedia, it is a condition in which an author loses the ability to produce new work or experiences a creative slowdown. So disclaimer lang po, hindi po ako published author or seasoned writer or whatsoever. Nagsusulat lang po talaga ako ng mga stories. So, ayun nga, it's just a slowdown of the activity that you used to do. For me, it's writing. For other creatives there, pwede sa drawing, sa sculpting, ano ba? sa sketching, sa painting, even content creating. Ayan. So, pwede nagkaroon ng slowdown. Pero ako, I struggled with um, writer's block for 12 years. So, yung pag-uusapan natin, paano ko siya na-combat, paano ko siya nalabanan, at paano ko siya na-overcome. Um, let's start with the reasons. Bakit? Sa tingin ko, nagkaroon ako ng creator's block or writer's block for 12 years. Number one is perfectionism. Bakit? Kasi hindi mo matanggal sa sarili mo na kapag nagsusulat ka, gusto mo perfect agad. Like, tama yung sentence structure mo, tama yung subject verb agreement mo, tama ang paglagay ng punctuation marks mo, tama ang iyong tenses. Ayan. So, grabe, hindi po ako perfectionist na tao by default, ha. Alam niya ng mga nakakakilala sa akin, I'm a very messy person. Messy talaga. Ayan, so burara. So, ayan, pero pagdating sa trabaho ko or sa ginagawa ko, especially sa pagsusulat, perfectionist po ako. Number two is too many distractions. Why? I can still remember I started losing my ability to write. Losing my ability to write talaga. Ano? Noong college na. Kasi nung high school po ako, nagsusulat ako ng mga kwento. Kasi mahilig ako magbasa ng Precious Hearts Romances na pocket book. So, ang ginagawa ko, um, gumagawa din ako ng mga young adult novels. Minsan, may mat- matured content pa, ba? Tapos, ayun, sinusulat ko siya sa malaking spring na notebook, yung makakapal. Um, tapos, binabasa naman ng mga classmates ko. Tapos, pinapasa-pasa sa ibang section. So, ayun. So, alam nilang nagsusulat ako. And then... Um, I created like five of them all throughout high school. Tapos nung fourth year na kami, meron ng, naging part ako ng aming um, school paper publication. So, I published two short stories. Number one, Chinelas. Number two is Epitaph, which I also um, made as a podcast on my podcast, uh, what I call this channel. So, okay. Number two, too many distractions. Pagdating ng college, wala na akong time na magsulat kasi ang dami nang kailangan gawin. Maraming assignment, assignments, maraming projects, maraming mga book report, maraming dapat basahin, may duty pa, duty pa ng hospital, tapos may mga reports pang gagawin and everything. So, yun siya, too many distractions. Number three is the, f- uh, uh, the fear of criticisms, fear of rejection. So, lahat naman tayo may fear of rejection. Fear of criticisms. Kahit naman sino ka, kahit hindi ka artista, meron ka nun eh, tama ba ako? Makriticize ka lang ng kaibigan mo, hindi na kayo friends agad, de ba? Friendship ending na kaagad, so ganun. So, isa yun sa mga reasons kung bakit hindi na po ako nakapagsulat. Kasi, once you're a creative, or, I mean, either it's, I mean, either you're a writer, an artist, or whatever you're doing, you're sharing a piece of yourself to other people. And sometimes it hurts kapag hindi nila nagustuhan yung ginawa mo kasi pinaghirapan mo yun. So, isa yan sa mga struggles ko before. And then, number four is self-criticism. Ang daming bashers, tama po ba? Pero alam mo ba kung sino ang pinaka-first na basher mo? 
ikaw lang din. ba? Diba? Kasi minsan binabash mo sarili mo kahit hindi mo naman pina- napapansin. Unconsciously, you're telling yourself that you're not good enough. You can't do that because you're not good enough. Ganyan. Tapos, ay, ang tanga-tanga mo minsan ganun, sinasabi mo yun. And, yun din, ginawa ko din yun sa sarili ko. Isa din yun sa mga nagpababa ng self-confidence ko to write. So, how did I combat those challenges? Simple lang po. Um, let's start with perfectionism. What I did, I started drafting, uh, journaling, tapos nag-start ako na magsulat in bullet forms first, tapos no feeling ko confident na ako magsulat into sentences, sentences. So, ginawa ko po siya. And then, I'm thinking, I'm just psyching myself, no? sinasabi ko sa sarili ko na, It's all. It should be progress and not perfection that we aim for ourselves. So yun palagi ko siya sabi sa sarili ko. Eh, Nagda draft ako. Kung isipin mo kasi kaya ka nga nagda draft, de ba? Kasi hindi pa final yung nasa draft. Kaya nga siya tinawag na draft. Yun palagi ko siya sabi sa sarili ko. It's. I mean, you can make a lot of mistakes on your draft because it's not final. And for editing, naman. Meron namang Grammarly. So, this is not a sponsored video, ha? Pero, um, ginagamit ko po talaga ang Grammarly to edit. Especially, yung pag-check ng mga, uh, what they call this, no aking composition. And, I'm thankful kay Miss Key, nag-suggest sa akin, uh, sa Grammarly. So, ayun. And then, second, second, let's talk about how I combat my fear of rejection. Iniisip ko na lang na, hindi naman kasi lahat ng tao gugustuhin yung ino-offer mo. Parang ganito, um, naligaw ka sa babae, e, iba yung type niya. Iiyak ka ba? Hindi e, man ligaw ka ulit sa iba, ganun lang. O, diba? So, yun lang yung sinasabi ko sa sarili ko. Hindi naman lahat ng tao gustuhin yung ginagawa ko, ba? Diba? So, doon lang tayo mag-focus sa mga gusto yung ginagawa natin. So, yung mga gusto tayo, yung mga ganun, para hindi tayo ma-hurt. Yan. <laughs> Sige. And then, Next, next one is um, yung, what they call this, self-criticism. So, instead of telling myself na you're not good enough, I hate you, hindi mo kaya yan, ang ginagawa ko po, pumunta ako sa salamin, kinakausap kong sarili ko. Tsaka sinasabi kong, I love you, mahal kita masyado, ang ganda-ganda mo, ang galing-galing mo, ganon. Kasi wala namang ibang magpa-pray sa'yo, kundi sarili mo lang. So you should love yourself, and then you should always give reassurance sa sarili mo na kaya mo yan. Okay ba tayo doon? Tsaka next time na madapa ka sa maraharap na maraming tao, huwag mo sabihin ang tanga-tanga ko, tayo ka lang, tapos poise ka, sabihin mo, next time, Tingin ka na lang sa daan mo, okay? You're still pretty. Oh, mga ganon. So, yung ginawa ko. So, positive self-talk instead of negative self-talk. And that really made a big change sa akin. And then, last is, paano ko na-combat yung balik ako sa aking copy, ano? <laughs> paano ko na-combat yung mga distractions? Um, nagtatrabaho po ako sa gabi. Ayan. <laughs> <laughs> hindi yung hindi yung iniisip ninyo ha so nagtatrabaho po ako sa gabi tapos pagdating ko sa bahay ng morning um, I always make sure that I write I just sit for one hour and then write or record my my podcast or for I mean podcast for the new episode and then ang sikreto lang naman dito disiplina so ano pang ginagawa ko I meditate and I pray kasi na-realize ko or na-discover ko that these two makes me focus on things that I should focus on instead of other things. And then, aside from that, mahilig ako sa music ni Enya, yung Gaelic songs na parang, ha, parang nasa simbahan ka, parang ganun. So, it makes me focus. Kaya palagi ko yung pinapakinggan pa ulit, ulit, pa ulit, ulit, pa ulit, ulit. Ayan. And then, ano pa? Umiinom pa ako ng coffee. Ayan. So, naka-hyper ako. Pati yung mind ko naka-hyper. Kaya nakaka-focus ako. So, yun lang naman po. So, that's the story of how I struggled with writer's block and how I made myself write again. If you like this video, click on the like button and click on subscribe, yung red, naka-red. Tapos, pakiclick na lang din ang notification bell kung gusto ninyo ma-notify kayo kapag may mga bago akong uploaded videos. And if you know someone who struggles with 
writer's block or creative's block and you think that this video could help them, please share this video.